At the start of the biggest game of their lives, a powerful stance against racism, taking the knee as they have done before every one of their games in the tournament. By the end, it was clear why they insisted on it. For some, the unifying national spirit generated by the England squad was only as long and as deep as 12 yards. Ex-footballer and anti-racism campaigner Chris Ramsey says he's appalled. Three heroes of the country, you know, they've done absolutely fantastic in the last month. With The whole squad has done absolutely fantastic. And to, to feel that we're, we're still having to fight against this at, in this day and age um, just upsets me and it upsets everybody in and around it. Following last night's game, racially abusive messages flooded players' social media accounts. The sheer scale of it, shocking. Twitter said it removed a thousand posts in the past 24 hours. And Facebook, which owns Instagram, said it did the same. But not all of it was confined online. In Manchester, a mural honouring Rashford was vandalised with graffiti shortly after last night's penalty shootout now redecorated with notes of support to the footballer. Estate agent Savills has suspended an employee after launching an investigation into racist tweets directed at England players. The Home Secretary Priti Patel, like her boss Boris Johnson, condemned the abuse, but both stand accused of stoking divisiveness over players taking the knee after they refused to condemn spectators who booed. In a public response to Mrs Patel, Tory peer Baroness Saida Varsi called on her to stop the culture wars that are feeding division. And tonight, England player Tyrone Mings agreed, accusing Mrs Patel of pretending to be disgusted by the racist abuse. But it's not just ministers under fire, so are the social media giants. Marcus Rashford has long campaigned against online hate that the tech companies say they are committed to cracking down on. Many others say they're not doing nearly enough. It's important to um, not just deal with individual pieces of content, individual YouTube videos or individual tweets, but actually get the person who produced that off the platform right away. Uh, in that case, if, if these accounts were dealt with last time, um, they, they expressed these ideas and abused someone online, um, then they wouldn't have been here today. As the players heal together as a team, the government says its online harms bill will protect people from this kind of abuse. But there are concerns the laws are too weak and won't properly tackle the hatred that has become endemic on social media platforms. Sajor Karia, News at 10.